You ready? Ready. Here we go. Welcome back to the Future of Real Estate. I'm Brett Ellis of the Ellis team at Remax Realty Group. By the way, we've created a special section on our website just for this show. Simply go to topagent.com and click on the radio show link. That website again is topagent.com. You can listen to past shows online or you can always call us at 239 489 4042 and speak with any member of our team. That number again is 489 4042. Okay, with us today is special guest, the Honorable Lee County Property Appraiser, Ken Wilkinson. Been a pleasure having you on the first half hour. Uh, thanks for not walking out on us. There you go. I want to <laughs> get to the, the good stuff. You still have time, don't I? Yeah. You still have time. Well, There's a chain on your foot. Right, that could be it. Yeah. It's an hour show, and you wouldn't be the first to walk out. No. Um, let's see. So what everyone probably wants to hear is what has, ta- what has assessed values done? Right. Well, uh, you know, if, everybody knows they're going down. Uh, no, no, not everybody. We go out on some listing appointments where I think there's a few uh, people true, that still true. don't know. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. They think it went up. <laughs> well, you know, you'll always find uh, packets or areas where values will go up. That's true. Because, you know, true. they don't make any more waterfronts, so you're going to find some, but the vast majority of, uh, I don't but, know, But the guy who replaced all his door hinges, all his handles, yeah. all his lights, and, you know, Landscape the place. Some of those values went up. Right. When you have six hundred and five thousand round numbers parcels every year, or at least this past year, you have to reappraise annually to market based on what the activity was buyers and sellers were doing before January first. So it's always interesting to see what areas uh, how they respond in in the, in the market. And I think we been recognized as ground zero, as we all know, for foreclosures and everything. And we know where the values were going up the fastest was North Cape, Lehigh. Well, that's where they're going to go down the fastest. We don't really actually have a dog in a fight. And a lot of people don't agree with or you can't, don't even believe me in that. Ours is a numbers game. We analyze the activity. And this year, historically, uh, because I can't go back further than the Depression, we know that overall, on the average, and I don't like averages, but that's the way it is. The overall county's value went down over 25% market value. So if you had wanted to buy the county a year ago, January 1st of 08, and did, you should have waited because it would have been $27 billion less this January 1st of 09. So it is good that we waited. I guess, before yeah. you bought the yeah. county, yeah. yes. So what you're saying it was about $100 billion and now it's down to about 83 Yeah, 86. well, it's actually $110 billion. Okay. The year before, we were up to $118 billion. Keeping in mind, when I took office in 1980, the total tax roll was $4.5 billion. So you've grown this economy from $4 billion to $118 billion. Not me, back. but certainly, <laughs> no, you. You're the one that's buying and selling and making all that money. <laughs> well, well Ken, you were talking I about averages. We spent it all. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I understand. Yeah. You were talking about averages for yes. the total county, but there's segments of the county that varies much uh, greatly from oh, other sure. segments. Share some of that. Uh, oh, sure. Us. I mean, uh, you know, everybody, I think, if you read the paper at all or listen on TV, Lehigh Acres is ground zero. There's no doubt about it. Uh-huh. Let's talk about uh, that. Now, yeah. we did our state of the market report back in January where we compiled, compiled MLS data, which is a little right. bit different. MLS is a, usually a pretty good sampling oh, of the overall. In fact, it's scary sometimes. We look at it. It pretty much is the market in most cases, but occasionally you have to go in some rural areas and whatnot. Right. You'll find some things. But we had Lehigh Acres down in median value, forty-nine point eight one percent. I didn't get much closer. I think we were forty-eight something. Overall. Actually, we took average mean, not median. Right. Um, so we were down forty-nine point eight one. What were you down? I, I know it's forty-eight something. 48, so we're within a percent of some. Sure. Okay. Now, Cape Coral. Now, we, we segment Cape Coral into three areas. Cape Coral North, Cape Coral South, and Cape Coral Central. We had Cape Coral North down about 39, Cape Coral South down about 26, and Cape Coral Central down about 35. So if you kind of merged them, I averaged yeah. them together, we'd probably have it around 30% or so. How did probably you? a little more. I think we end up at around 33 yeah, and I, very close. I would say it would be. Yeah, I looked could, at your numbers yeah. you showed me earlier, and uh, they almost mirror each other. Yeah, that's kind of scary. And we complement both in a sense. Yeah. I think you know, so. It's independent, and it's, you know, you're yeah. not working for us. And we have Fort Myers Beach else. down 18.74. How uh, do you? I'm not looking at the numbers. Yeah, okay, all right. So just be kind of interesting to kind of 
kind of look at those because we do that every year. Well, I know you do it every year. You're required to by law. We just do it because we're freaks of statistics. and and uh, But it helps us to kind of keep oh, up, sure. up, abreast of what's going on. The biggest change, as I think most of us know, certainly those in the business like yourselves, is that uh, prior to last year, and it wasn't as great last year, but certainly this year, when I when, when 80 plus percent of my sales, good sales, are short sales or after foreclosure sales, that is the market. That is the market. Right? That is the market. The problem we're going to run into is in a neighborhood, and we've got like 4,000 neighborhoods, and we've got to use all the good sales, be the short sales, which are now considered good sales, and what you would normally consider the typical sale. You might have th nine sales in a neighborhood. You got to use them all because it's a mass appraisal system. Three of them are at 40, which we've never seen before. Then there's some at 50, 60, and some three or four at 80 or 90,000. Well, it's a combination of all those sales gets applied to the whole neighborhood, all the properties that sold or did not sell. So the guy at 40 probably not going to be happy when he gets his trim notice because it's going to come out to about 60. Right, right. Well, that's because it's a mass appraisal system. We have to use them all. Now, the guy at 80 and 90, he's going to like it. Unless well, if the guy at 40, he wants the 40. Yeah. And I can't do it that way. Yeah. The other thing is you're always doing... You can't cherry pick, is I guess what I'm saying. You have to use all the sales, all the good sales, and then you apply it across mm -hmm. the neighborhood. The other thing is you're all, you're doing appraisals based on what occurred last by but pre prior to and that's not what's happening now. Right. In the last two years, that's been... I mean, I, I never had anybody come in and, and want me to adjust their value for tax purposes based on what sold last week down the street. Because you, you're prevented from doing that. You couldn't get the tax roll done, by the way. Because that means every day you have to change the tax roll. And you can't. You start January 1st, after you've analyzed for 12 months all the sales, then you start doing your analysis of those sales once you've got them all in the system. So it's the prior 12 months. It's the hardest thing for the general public to understand because they want you, they're living in today. And I can totally agree with that, totally understand it. But they didn't change the law. Now, they never came in prior to last year because they knew the values were continuing to go up. Now, we didn't raise them because the values were going up. It's all January 1st. Are you giving any weight to the latter part of the year? Yes. Okay. If you have enough sales. Okay. What you do, and part of revenue has agreed with this. It took a couple, three years to get them to go this, but when it was going up fast, they liked it. So I said, look, you know, you got to play by the same rules because they approve our tax roll. Department of Revenue out of Tallahassee. There's a reason why they call them Department of Revenue. They have a different <laughs> philosophy. Their job money. is to get as much money as they can for government. Can you? But they got to play by the rules that are fair. So they, they and us, we agree that if sales in the fourth quarter have more impact than a first quarter sale because the date of assessment is January first. But can you go and use a January or February sale? No. The back. No, the data, but so you can look at it for a trend if you wanted to, right. but you can't put it in the statistical mix because it's very clear in the Constitution, January 1st. Saber Homes actually put that in the Constitution. True, but if you had, let's say, a January 4th closing, you know, if someone goes in front of the Value Adjustment Board, they can make the argument oh, that... Oh, yeah, you see, the you know, magistrate, I can't, I can't tell them what to think, right. and, and I'm sure because they're having pressure as well with the people sitting there. I can tell you, we can't put it in our statistical you're, mix. You're bound by, yeah, so you're, that's what it is. It doesn't mean that it's been a matter of might not in their mind, you know, wait, but that's their call. Super. Well, you've been listening to the Future of Real Estate presented by the LS team at REMAX. When we come back, we're going to have a lot more great questions with Lee County property appraiser Ken Wilkinson, so stay tuned.